do we know the exact cause of azospermia? Azospermia ya zero sperm count ki exact kya wajah ho sakti hai? Hello friends, I am Dr. Samita Dalvi, your fertility friend, medical director and chief IVF consultant at Pune IVF Fertility Center and Research Institute. So, in our last video, we have seen that azospermia can be two types. Ho sakte hai. One is obstructive azospermia and the other one is non-obstructive azospermia. Today, we will try to know that exactly what kind of azospermia is हमें एजोस्पर्मिया है इसके जड़ तक जाने की कोशिश करेंगे सो व्हेनेवर वी डायग्नोस एजोस्पर्मिया फर्स्टली अ वेरी प्रॉपर सीमेन एनालिसिस अ सीमेन एनालिसिस एज पर द डब्ल्यूएचओ गाइडलाइंस डब्ल्यूएचओ क्या कहता है सिर्फ एक बार सीमेन ड्रॉप को माइक्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन करने से आप एजोस्पर्मिया को डायग्नोस नहीं कीजिएगा यू हैव टू सेंट्रीफ्यूज द सैंपल फॉर 15 मिनट्स and look at the pellet that is formed at the base of the test tube. ये pellet में अगर sperms नहीं मिलते हैं, then and only then you can diagnose that the particular patient has zero sperm count. ये भी हमें दो बार कम से कम दो बार repeat करना चाहिए at a gap of 15 to 20 days. So लगातार दो semen samples which have been centrifuged and the pellet has been checked. And there are no sperms, then yes, we can diagnose that the particular patient has azospermia. In this case, in medical history, the particular patient has which other medicines are going to be done. Because there are certain medicines which hampers the sperm production. Thirdly, physical examination. Physical examination means examining the testes of the males is very very important criteria to have an idea about the diagnosis of type of azospermia. Fourthly, the genetic evaluation. Genetic tests are of two types which are to be done on the males wherein the sperm count is less than 5 million or if there is zero sperm count. This genetic test could be karyotype and Y chromosome micro deletions. अब Y क्रोमोसोम माइक्रो डिलीशन क्या होता है? मेंस में जो Y क्रोमोसोम मौजूद होता है, उसपे एजुस्पोमिया फैक्टर्स होते हैं। That is A Z F, which is called as एजुस्पोमिया फैक्टर। अगर Y क्रोमोसोम माइक्रो डिलीशन इस प्रेजेंट ऑन C पार्ट ऑफ द एजुस्पोमिया फैक्टर, देन इट इज अ गुड प्रोग्नोसिस। That means these are the males in which by an advanced technique, we can retrieve the sperm. But if the azospermia factor A or B has any micro deletion present, then trust me, there is no means to retrieve the sperm from this particular type of azospermic males. Next important cause is hormonal evaluation. Hormones that are responsible for spermatogenesis, that is the formation of sperms in the testicles, these are two major hormones that is FSH and testosterone. अगर ये FSH और testosterone का levels abnormal है, तो these are the patients who will benefit from hormonal supplementation, may be followed by testicular retrieval of the sperms. Next important investigation could be sonography, जिसे हम imaging कहते हैं. Sonography are done in two ways. One is the scrotal Doppler studies and second is the transrectal ultrasonography. Sonography ke dwara, we can get to know exactly the location of the blockage if at all the azospermia is because of the obstruction in the tubules. So these were the few tests which are mandatorily to be done for any couples who are facing this problem of zero sperm count. Hope this video was useful to you. We at Pune IVF take the semen analysis part very seriously and we provide it at free of cost at our fertility checkup camps. For details, please do visit our website or contact us on the numbers given below for the next camp dates. Thank you.